everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is okay and doing well and not too bored out of their brains because of this second lockdown. So anyway, enough of that talk. I am now doing a coat of Strong Gale from Magpie Beauty. It's one of their gel colours. It's an absolutely beautiful colour. Um, I'm doing just one coat of this on camera, but I did do two coats. So then I'm going in with velvet top coat and I'm going to cover all five nails with that. I'm only going to show you three nails during the video because two of them, like two of the designs are duplicated basically. Um, like they're very similar on both nails. So I've only showed you three, just to save a bit of time. This product does require you to take off a tacky layer. So I'm just showing you here to make sure you remove that. That's why it'll still look shiny when it comes out of the lamp is because you need to cleanse. Well, not cleanse. Cleanse has got oil in it, so don't cleanse because you end up putting oil on this and you need to paint over the top, so make sure you don't use that. Anyway, I'm now going in with my striper brush from Magpie. I just want to tell everyone that everything like this that I do for the cable knit design um, effect, I did everything twice basically. I put two layers, so when I've finished putting these lines on, I will cure that fully for 60 seconds. Then I will put the second coat on the exact same way. So over this and the exact same lines and everything, just to make it a little bit thicker. And that's when I'll go over with the acrylic powder. Just to make that clear, just to make it a little bit more raised so it doesn't blend in quite as much. Because obviously the clear powder is going to give it like a matte effect. And if you give that matte effect on flat matte, it's just going to blend too much and you won't really be able to tell the difference. So just to make that clear, I did do that. I don't think I did actually on these bits because I used the gel polish quite thick anyway um, and I wasn't too bothered about them standing out that much anyway so I did just do these quite easily but obviously if it ends up really really flat then just do another coat I messed up here and put them way too far apart that one there but I didn't have the patience to change it so it stayed like it I'm afraid and I'm just going to go in now with that wet coat and make sure that I have completely covered it in the clear acrylic powder make sure it's completely covered and there is no areas of it that still look even remotely shiny Okay, so I'm just going to dust off as much as I can of all that excess powder and then I'm going in with Magpie's white gel paint. I'm not going to talk through this whole video because you'll get really bored of my voice because I'm doing something pretty similar throughout the whole thing. And you can see exactly what I'm using because I've made sure to include little clips of what I'm about to use. So I'm just going to let you watch it and if I feel like I need to get involved and tell you what I'm doing, I will do.
Okay, so I'm just going to basically sign off. Obviously, it was quite an easy-ish video, I think, um, to follow without me having to talk through it. If there is any questions that anyone's got or anything or just want to talk about anything, then just please pop me a comment or message me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram is below in the description box. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. I love doing snowflakes this way. I just find it the easiest way, but obviously there is loads of other ways to do it. Um, I did do it a different way in the last Christmas nail art video. So if you want to see a couple of different ways, then head over there. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, if you haven't already subscribed, then please do. Blah, blah, blah. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> you know the drill. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back really soon. Bye.